Hi everybody, this is Teresa from Teresa Sheridan Designs and today I'm going to show you how to uh, create a template in Dreamweaver and then create um, pages from that template. So the reason we do this is so that any changes made to the structure of the site, the navigation, um, main content areas that stay the same such as footers and things like that, maybe sidebars, that if you update those areas it will reflect across the entire website as opposed to having to update each page individually. So I've already moved some uh, images into my images folder here and we are doing a fictitious site for Joe the plumber today. So our first step is to create um, a blank template. So we'll go to File New. We're going to select Blank Template from the left column and we want an HTML template for this application and we're going to select the one column fixed centered header and footer layout which you can see here this is your header your main content area and your footer and um, these two areas right here we're going to leave at the default settings right now and we're going to click create this is our CSS file that um, styles the layout so we're going to save that in our CSS folder and here you have your blank template. So we're going to split this screen so we can see both the code and the design view and we're going to expand the CSS file on this side so we can easily add and edit um, different properties. The first thing we're going to do here is name this Joe the Plumber and this is just a generic title. You'd want to change that up, of course, for individual pages for your SEO. And we're going to save this as a template file. And I'm just going to call it Pages. And you can see over here it adds a templates folder and there is our page with the uh, DWT extension indicating that's a Dreamweaver template. So uh, from this point we're going to do a, a little bit uh, of customizing to this style the body I'm going to add a background image <coughs> browse to my file we're going to add those diagonal stripes and the background color we will leave the same um, this is our container here and uh, which goes from left to right that's the entire container and I'm just simply going to remove the border here because I don't care for borders on my websites usually the background color is white, we're going to go ahead and leave that. In our header, I'm going to install a header image here in the header. We are um, going to need to remove this text. Um, you, can, if, you can put text in your header if you like, but I'm going to use an image which pretty much has all the text in it that I want. And you can see where the header is a little bit offset here. Oh, and I forgot to change the width of my container. I want a 900 pixel width container. But you can still see that the header is a little bit offset here which and that's because of the padding in our header. Again if you had text in your header you'd want padding so that your text isn't directly on the edge of the um, the container, the area. So I'm going to zero out the padding here and then you can see our text, our header um, aligns itself properly. So now we're going to insert an editable region and the editable regions are what you edit on individual pages. And So I'll show you what I mean here. And so I'm going to delete this text because I don't want that in there. I'm also going to delete this H1 tag here because I do not want my, my editable region inside an H1 tag. So we'll go to the Insert menu, Template Objects, Editable Region. I'm going to call it Content. And you can see now that has inserted um, an editable region which is designated by these turquoise lines here. We're going to go ahead and save that. So the next step would be to create a page from this template. You would proceed to the File menu, click New and we're going to create a page from the template. 
This is our website, Joe the Plumber. Here is our pages. You can see the template displayed on the right side here. And this button here, this checkbox, update page when template changes, you want to make sure that is checked so that when you make changes to the template, it will reflect in all of your pages that are associated with that template. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and save this file as our home page. So index.html. Okay, and now you can um, you can see that I no longer have access to the header area or the footer area. So this makes it really easy to update your the content of your site and not inadvertently hit a mouse button or a key, an arrow key somewhere and mess with the dot design integrity of your site. Also very helpful if there's other users editing your site so that they also cannot inadvertently change the design integrity. So here we're just going to enter a little bit of text. And you can see how the area expands when you hit the enter key. And you've created a paragraph essentially by doing that. We're going to go ahead and save that. So um, from this point you would proceed to further customize your page and ed enter your content for the home page and uh, you, you'd be done. What we're going to do now though is we want it we don't want the footer to say footer what we're going to do is put a copyright statement there so we're going to go back to our template and here in the footer we're going to put a copyright statement And now this is asking us, do we want to update the files that are based on this template, which in this case is the index page. Yes, we do. And now this screen is telling us that it is done with the updating process. So if we go back to the index page, we can see that it did indeed change the footer to our copyright statement. And we can save that page. And there you have it. So good luck building your pages. Have fun, and um, this will simplify the process for you quite a bit. Thanks for joining us.